Welcome to Upstate Tractor Works today. Remember, please subscribe, like, share, punch that bell notification. We're trying to build our channel. We try, we kind of stay around tractor stuff and sometimes some other stuff. I got a trencher here I'm working on now that I bought that uh, got to work on. But right now we're going to have an unboxing of an item I bought for the 1025R. Uh, bought this off of Amazon. It was something that I wanted to do. In this video today, I'll be showing you how I put them on. And let's take a look at them. Set this down. Set the knife down. Got the box here. Like I said, these came for a pair of 20 bucks or so. I don't remember. I'll, uh, I'll have a link in the description to below how much they were. But basically, the convex mirrors. You get two in the box. And they're not very big. They're kind of small like this they have a little opening in the back for a little ball socket and my idea is to mount them in the loader holes and here's the little ball socket and see that's the thing that I'm wondering is if they'll reach through here with some big washers so well, at least they're not glass, so when you drop them, they, they don't break all the pieces. Let me readjust my camera here so you can see me. Uh, Alrighty. Rotate it up just a little bit. Get me in there good, hopefully. All right, so we're going right in this hole is the plan. And I may end up having changed my plan. I may have to make me a little adapter or something. I don't know yet. But the thing is, this little ball needs to be snapped into the back of this before you put the bolts in to hold it. Because if you put the bolts in and then you try to snap it in there, you're going to break the bolts. So, I'm going to get off camera here. Tell you how I'm going to install it. But I'm going to look first to see. Yeah, it's got enough. What I'm thinking about is how to put a, some kind of ferrule in there to keep it from having play. But for right now, first thing I want to do is snap this in here. And I thought, oh, you can do that by hand. No, you can't. So, what I'm gonna do, set this down here, set this on top of it, put a rag under it, and Shoot, it don't go in easy. Well, let's try it this way. Damn it. Oh! I'm gonna bring you back up here. Because you're not learning where you're at. I'm right here and I hope you can see I got a rag laying here I'm gonna take you can clean off these things I was working on this trencher tire you see here all right there's that side whole idea is to get this to pop in and by spreading this plastic out some Dang. 
there it went. Buddy, once it's in there, it shouldn't go nowhere. But it's in there now. Now I'm gonna go get the little screws. Be right back. Uh. Now you talk about tiny. These little screws is tiny. And just remember, like most things that you get off the interwebs, there, there ain't no instructions. There are no instructions. Okay. It looks like it comes in from this other side. And they're little bitty Phillips. So I'm gonna get my little bitty Phillips over here. Now I'm not gonna tighten these too tight for now. After I get them mounted permanently, I'll tighten them on up. Okay. Wonder. Yeah, it looks like we got a decent view, field of view there. All right. Get this other one in here. Okay, so I've got that with a stud on it, and uh, let's see. oh, so you'll know this thing comes with all kind of adapters to wrap it around pole bars. It's mirrors for an ATV is what they were originally designed to be. So that way if you have any questions about that so that can go in the trash but here comes the thing there's got a little rubber tip on this to, to keep those threads good but we're gonna have to find some fender washers and then what i want to do is find a spacer to slide on here that'll make up the room in the john deere this size right here you see the hole right here. I'm going to put these. See how that is it, to where they stick out. And go with it just like that to give me a mirror. Now, if I don't like it, I may get a piece of metal and mount on an angle to get them on out. I don't know yet. That's another option. But the first one I'm going to try is getting a spacer to go in here on that to where this doesn't have any play and then mount them here and see what they look like. So that's it for right now. We'll pick up after I find all my spacers and things I need. Thank you. So welcome to Upstate Tractor Works. This afternoon what we're doing is we're gonna continue with uh, installing the mirrors I bought that were real cheap off of Amazon. I'm gonna have a link below for them. I know there's different mounts and different things, but what I decided to do was buy two mirrors that were specifically made for UTV. Like always with my videos, please subscribe, help me build this channel. We're trying to do things that uh, can help people save money or, or make things more versatile to use and all. But uh, these things come with a whole bunch of adapters for different size tubing for ATVs, but we're not using them on ATVs. And I've got one already kind of mocked up here where you can see that on the back here, it is going through the loader mount and there's your mirror. The thing will tighten up right there after I get it adjusted exactly where I want it 
and here's two washers i bought some washers that are a little bit smaller those are a little bit big fender washers but you can see them there um as you look at the hole that's in there it's pretty good size well what i've done is this is the the setup for the ball bolt that is going through that loader mount and what i've done is i've gotten this ferrule that i will stick through that hole and the one they had was too big to buy two so what i did is i bought this one and i'm gonna cut it in two with a hacksaw and i'm not gonna bore you with that on camera i'm gonna go off camera and uh get that done and then when i come back we're gonna i'll have that one dismounted and we're gonna take and and mount them put these ferrules in them so there can't be as much play i just didn't like the slot that i had because you know you loosen this thing up i don't have my wrench with me i got it snug but you loosen it up and it can get jump up and down all right i'll be back shortly all righty here we are we're gonna put vol in the back of this other mirror i've got my little spacers made and cut down to 0.36 thickness to fit in that uh the hole in the loader and i know these things are cheap but that's what i got them for if i break one off i'm not out any money hardly all right so first thing you got to do is snap this other ball in i already showed you earlier in the video when i did the other one you know because basically what you do is you just have to take a screwdriver split this open some take another screwdriver and split the other side open Clean that screwdriver, it's got a bunch of some grease on it. Must have been doing something else for a minute. Alright. Let's turn this. I'm gonna turn this down here so you can see, hopefully see what I'm doing here. As you can see, I've got these screwdrivers in here. And I'm taking and prying that thing open. So that ball would go in just like that. That ball's in there just like that. And see, these holes on this side are shaped just right for these screws here to go in. And uh, they're little bit Phillips. And I'm not sure if I don't need a smaller Phillips than I'm using but look at this thing look how tiny that is but that barely fits in it I get them started but when I put them final touches we're gonna have I'm gonna have to find a smaller screwdriver to do my final adjustments with like I said, this side right there is made especially for them nuts to be held so you can screw them in and tighten these things up. All right, so I'm going to put that one. Then I've got another one. This thing in here. Probably should have left that off, but it's on already. Uh, and, but all this is to help it hold. Uh, okay, there it went. Tight to where you have to 
pull pretty hard to move it. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and take this off. This one's not as bad as the other one. The other one was pushed behind the glass and I had to kind of like trim it with a razor blade. All right, we're gonna bring you back up to eye level. We're gonna go over here and install one of these. I've got all the rest of my washers I need. And this, and in my pockets, the wrench. So let's take it on over here to the loader. And I don't know how this is gonna stand up, but we'll see. I think we're gonna, I'm gonna have to reduce this. Because we're going to be working right there. And I'm going to see if I can't hold you just like this. And I want this to the outside. Well, it'd pay if I'd go and pick up this little thing here I need. Slide it on there. So, I've got the washer that came with it i've got the big washer because that hole's so big i got my little spacer so it goes in like that then putting my other washer on and these washers are pretty hard because i got them right at the size then i put the other small black washer on that came with the mirror Then there's a lot washer. Then there's the actual nut. So that's where we're going. And I just start turning. Tell you what, over here hanging on my shoulder, I should have a ratchet wrench made by Craftsman so we can ratchet this thing. That'll make it a whole lot easier to ratchet it once. So, what I'm gonna do to help this hold tighter. I'm gonna get my handy dandy uh, vice grips. I'm gonna vice grip to that right there. Need to get that a little bit tighter. And see, I. Okay, and that sucked that in. That, that I don't believe will go anywhere. So that's my mirror. We're gonna put the other one on right quick. I've got it ready. We got all the bolts down here, nut, washers. I already put the thing on that. Thing being the bushing. That's what it is, a bushing. So we're gonna walk around here. Well, I didn't make a video of it, but uh there's a pad that i made out of a goodyear tire that had been uh gone flat and torn the side up and the, and the tread was almost new and i used a wood bit to chamfer this and then i drilled half inch holes through and used half inch bolts with washers lot washers through a two before that i cut and uh if you want to know, I'll put some measurements below on that board to what I had to cut it to fit it right in there. And I made them for both sides. This side I made a little too long, but you know, it's more trouble to cut it off again than just to let it stay. Okay, so now we're over here at the other side. And I'm just going to set the camera up here. You saw how I did the other one, putting it in. And this way, you guys can watch kind of what I, what I want to do here. 
and uh, then we'll be done. I don't have to hold on to it the whole time. It, uh -oh. I laid the mirror down and lost my little bushing, but it was right there. All right, so I've got the metal washer that come with it, then the wet bit, the flat washer, big I call them fender washers, then the bushing, then another fender water washer, then the black washer, then the lock washer, then my nut. And see, one thing that's nice about this is if it's not far enough out for me, I can always make me a extension out of some flat stock, whether it be up and forward or up and over to the side and just have them out here. But I think in here's tucked pretty good to where maybe I won't be hitting anything with them, you know, like brush or trees or... But if you do hit something with them, you're not really going to be out a bunch of money. Like if you bought some real expensive mirrors that I've seen on the web. All right, there's that. Now, I'm going to come around, get up on here, set these mirrors to how I like them. Show you what they look like. Uh, go ahead and throw my tools back over here. Where they go. Because I'm done tightening that part. One thing I'm going to do is tighten those little screws in a little while where I got my mirrors where I want them. So, bringing you up here with me, setting in the cab at the top on the trolley on the thing. Got my thing. What I'll do is I'll have it to where the bottom of it is on the ground to where you can see from my perspective. There it is. It's aimed out a little. Got the fender and probably going to bump it out a little more. I really, you know, with the backhoe on it, what I need to see is out further. And I actually had them and I looked at doing them like this. But to me from right here, I don't know if that'll be tall enough. So that's why I kind of did this. So I don't know. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put them up and down for now instead of side to side and see what I think about them. Run them a while. And then I can always change them. You know, that's maybe something halfway between. I don't know. How, how do yours look if you've got a set of something? I mean, that's not too bad there, but, you know, if you're backing up, you don't see anything very tall. So that might be the problem with these. But for the price, I'm going to just run them for a while and turn them like this. I need to get my other projects out of the way. But, yeah, that's, that's pretty good because I really, you know, once I see out from there and... This walls, those walls kind of cave things in to what you can see. All right. Well, I appreciate you staying with me. Hope you liked the video. You know, trying to build this channel and do some things with my tractor and hopefully do things that you guys enjoy and uh, making this thing a little more usable here and there. And uh, I'll have a video later on on what I'm doing with this. Uh, this little trencher right here it's a four inch barretto 712 mt that i bought the other day so it's gonna yeah you know, i'm doing something with it that you'll see later on and there's the shop dog that's bobo bobo is a he's a beagle basset hound and he loves his daddy and his mommy and he talks to us so if you will please go down below Hit the subscribe button. Hit the bell notifications. Please hit everything you can. We're trying to build the channel. Appreciate you. And thanks for staying with us. See you next time.